Hello everybody and welcome back to another Hoff Bergman Explained video. In today's video we're going to take a look at mayonnaise and vegetable oil. So we're going to need to manufacture vegetable oil in order to make our mayonnaise. We are up here at the dairy and we have our mayo boy, our mayonnaise maker. It needs vegetable oil and eggs. So in the previous video we had made some eggs with our ducks and chickens. So we brought one of those up here and we're gonna basically use that as well as the vegetable oil we're about to manufacture to make our mayonnaise. And then we're gonna sell our mayonnaise, we're gonna sell our vegetable oil, and we're basically gonna see how it all goes. But before that, this video is brought to you by Luis Hernandez. Thank you for being a farm baron. So there's a couple things that you're going to need before you can start making mayonnaise. Specifically, you're going to need mayonnaise buckets. So they can be found here in a shop under objects, miscellaneous, mayonnaise buckets. They are $5 a bucket. They hold 25 kilograms of mayonnaise. And they are reusable. So you'll want to buy enough that's going to be worth taking it to the shop, but uh, you don't have to go hog crazy with buying them. You can also store mayonnaise here in the refrigerator. So you can store up to 10 buckets of mayonnaise in the refrigerator. So if you're somebody that would like to maybe buy 10 buckets, make 10 buckets worth, store them in the refrigerator, wait for a decent price, and then sell them all at once, well, you can go ahead and do that. So let's look about how do we make our vegetable oil how do we transport our vegetable oil? And how do we get about making our mayonnaise? So if we go to the PDA here and we come over here to the oil mill, it is open 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. We're gonna need to bring crops that make oils. Okay, so those are canola, sunflower, or soybeans. And we're gonna bring them into our oil mill, we're gonna dump them right here. You see it takes sunflowers, canola, or soybeans, and it produces vegetable oil. So the vegetable oil will come out of this spigot, or spout, once it's been produced. There's an LED display right there. It will show how much vegetable oil is ready to be taken out. And we have our Tatra Universal Tanker over here in order to transport our vegetable oil back to the farm. So let's go to our silo. And I've already got our fent set up here. We've got 15,000 liters of canola. And this particular canola we start out with at the start on new farmer mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and drive along, bring you along with me as we drive down to the oil mill. That way you know how to get there. So we're swinging around here by one of the outside cow areas. We're making our way up to the genetic place, which is where we sold our bull boys, basically. We also have the greenhouses up here, which we've yet to talk about. The completely drawn a blank. <laughs> the slaughterhouse is up here. Sorry, that was what I was trying to come up with. And the malt factory. So we're going to turn off and go up this hill and we can kind of see the oil factory once we get over top of this hill here.
This is a new section of the map for Hoff Bergman 1.0.0.8. This was previously out of playable bounds. So now we've dumped our grain into the mill here. You've heard it turn on. You see we have 15,672 liters of grain. Let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit. And we'll see that we are going to end up with a little bit less oil than we had grain. So it's now 12.30 p.m., couple hours have passed not a whole lot of time and we end up with just 9,403 liters of vegetable oil right there let's go ahead and grab our Tatra We're going to pull under the spout. We're going to hit N to open the cover. And then we're going to hit R to fill. You see our display is going down as we put our vegetable oil into our tanker. The gauge on our tanker is going up. And we have our full load of oil. Hit in to close our cover and let's drive back to the main farm. And since we already know how to get to here, we know how to get back to the main farm. I'll just meet you back there. So coming up the back way into the dairy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make use of the IBC tank that is back here. And we're gonna overload 2,000 liters of vegetable oil into this tank. So we now have 2,000 liters of vegetable oil in our IBC tank. We're going to come up to our mayonnaise making machine, Mr. Mayo Boy. We're going to left click to open the cover. We're going to take our eggs and we're going to put some eggs in just like so. If we look inside, we can see we now have a egg puree. But now we need to take oil, so we're going to grab our bucket here. We're going to go out to the IBC tank. We're going to put our bucket underneath the spout. We're going to get our vegetable oil. So we have 100 liters or 100 units of vegetable oil. And... Each batch is going to take 50 units of vegetable oil. So we'll put that down there. We'll come up here. We will turn on the mayonnaise maker. You can see now the spinning is happening. We could close that if we wanted to. Let's just go ahead and speed up time. You see we are making our mayonnaise. So... It took 50 liters of vegetable oil, 50 units of eggs, and we're only going to get, well, we're going to get, sorry, 50 units of mayonnaise. Okay, so we put 100 units in, we're only getting 50 units out. See, now the mayonnaise has been made. So we're going to take our mayo bucket. 
put it under the mayonnaise maker. And then we are going to... Yeah, where is it? Guess I need to keep it on. So we're holding on to the bucket, and now we are filling. I'm like, what? Where is the start filling coming up? So remember, each bucket is going to hold 25 units of mayonnaise. We'll just put it back in the refrigerator. We'll grab another bucket. Go underneath the mayo maker. Start filling. And now the machine is empty. We can open it up. We'll put another 50 units of eggs in. Put another 50 units of oil in. We will turn it on. And again, we'll wait for time to pass. And we just keep repeating the process until we've made all the mayonnaise we want to make. We can let that go ahead and fill. We don't have to be holding it. and get their two mayonnaise buckets out of the refrigerator. So we come up here, we want to get R to enter the mayonnaise main storage menu. We want to output two jugs of mayonnaise. There we go. some bulk bulk tubs of mayonnaise right now if we take a look at our prices screen you're going to see that the farm shop here is going to accept our mayonnaise and the inn is going to accept our mayonnaise as well as the village shop. Now, as far as vegetable oil goes, the bakery is gonna take our vegetable oil and the inn is gonna take our vegetable oil. So in previous videos, we have sold product at the farm shop. We've sold product at the inn. And we've sold product also at the village shop. So I think we'll just run down here to the inn just for fun. And uh, put product in there. There we go, $171 for four tubs of mayonnaise. We get to keep our tubs because again, they are reusable.
So here we are at the end. Now I did have to back in with this truck in order to get the trigger to unload the oil. We're gonna try to unload a couple thousand liters of vegetable oil here. So we have 7,400 liters. So 5,500 liters, so we have $2,300 worth of income. Now we're gonna fast forward time so that we can also sell some product over at the bakery, which again is only able to accept product between midnight and 4 a.m. So here we are at the Bergman Bakery. They are open for business between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m., but they're only open for deliveries between midnight and 4 a.m. So this young lady will not accept our oil at this point. She is busy working on customers. But at midnight, this particular door will open up. Let's go ahead and fast forward time. And it is nearly midnight. There we go. Now it's midnight. We can basically deliver our product. We will once again deliver a couple thousand liters. And we got $2,229. Now we are across from the main farm. See the farmhouse right there. Our silo area is just over there. And we have here another location that will accept vegetable oil. We're going to go into more details on this in another video, but this is for the production of fuel. So this will take vegetable oil, old vegetable oil, or animal fat. Now I think we're going to find that the butcher is going to give us animal fat. I'm not 100% sure if that's the only place where we're going to get animal fat, but I'm pretty sure the butcher is going to give us animal fat but we can get vegetable oil from the inn or used vegetable oil from the inn. We're going to take a look at that in the next video, but this is one location that we can also deliver our oil and uh, produce fuel. So guys, that is basically how we make mayonnaise, how we manufacture vegetable oil by taking it down to the oil mill and delivering soybeans canola, or sunflowers, and then using our tanker to collect the oil. We can take the oil back up to the mayonnaise factory, mayonnaise machine, to manufacture mayonnaise with oil and eggs. We can take the oil and sell it at the inn, at the farm shop, or at the bakery. So guys, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, Happy farming.